In addition to a prior video on the synergy of intermittent fasting and the ketogenic diet, I'd like to take the time to break down the detailed science behind the benefits of intermittent fasting and the physiological mechanisms that are at work during periods of fasting. Studies have shown a wide variety of health benefits stemming from intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding techniques, such as serum cholesterol, glucose, and insulin regulation, weight loss, and improved insulin sensitivity, which all correlate strongly with improved overall health, wellness, and disease prevention. Perhaps you've heard someone recommend not to sleep on a full stomach. Well, there is a very distinct and well-researched explanation as to why, in fact, that is good advice. Our bodies have a biological master clock in our brain, more specifically the suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus. This clock provides a sort of genetic daily schedule known as our circadian rhythm, which evolved to restrict our activity according to the time of day or night to ensure physiological processes are performed at optimal times. This is the same mechanism that causes us to be affected by jet lag when traveling across time zones resulting in difficulty sleeping. In addition, we possess peripheral clocks in tissue such as the liver, fat, and skeletal muscle with feeding as the dominant time cue. Together, the circadian rhythm doesn't only influence when we sleep, but dictates other biological functions including alertness, physical activity, hormone levels, body temperature, immune function, and digestive activity. Problems begin to arise when our suprachiasmatic nucleus master clock in our brain and our peripheral clocks are out of sync. In layman's terms, when we eat late into the night, our bodies aren't in an optimal state to break down or even react properly to the intake of nutrients. Our gut is saying it's time to digest and our brain is convinced that time has passed. For example, insulin sensitivity decreases throughout the day and into the night, meaning the later we ingest food, especially carbohydrates, the more insulin our pancreas needs to produce to regulate glucose levels in the blood. As a result, eating into the night puts us at greater risk for developing metabolic disorders such as diabetes and obesity. Another mechanism that is affected by our circadian sleep-wake rhythm is our gastrointestinal microbiota, or our array of gut bacteria. Naturally, our gut is more prepared for digestion during the day by having increased blood flow, allowing for more efficient digestion and metabolism and reduced gut permeability. This allows us to more effectively use the energy we extract from food and protects us from the possibility of gut bacteria leaking through the intestinal wall and permeating into our blood causing inflammation and other serious problems throughout the body. Intermittent fasting synchronizes our daily intake to our natural circadian rhythm, allowing for optimal postprandial or post-meal hormone responses, as well as plays a large role in reducing postprandial endotoxemia by synchronizing the rhythm of digestion with maximum gut wall fortitude. Simply, when we ignore our biological feeding schedule, we put ourselves at vastly higher risks for metabolic disorders and a variety of other health risks. I'd love to hear any questions or opinions in the comments below, and I hope you'll check out other videos on this channel. But until next time, keep going against the grain.